Robert Spencer here of Jihad Watch for What Do You Mean? Dr. Craig Considine gives us today's meme. He says, an Islamophobe is a person that has never stepped foot in a mosque or befriended a Muslim, yet he claims to be an expert on Islam via Google search. Now, Craig Considine in this meme actually confuses Muslims and Islam, which is a very, very common confusion, often deliberate. When people criticize Islamic doctrine for teaching warfare against unbelievers and the institutionalized oppression and denial of rights of non-Muslims, women, and other groups, people say, oh, you're anti-Muslim. But in reality, there is a distinction and a difference between the person and the belief system. And any individual person may hold to every bit of the belief system, or he may only hold to some of it. There is a spectrum of belief, knowledge, and fervor among the believers in all religions. Now, when it comes to an Islamophobe, somebody who presumably has a distaste for Islam, Considine is claiming that this comes from the fact that one has never known a Muslim. And if only you knew a Muslim who was so friendly and kind and sweet, then you would see that Islam is a religion of peace and have no more animus toward Islam. Unfortunately, no matter how friendly, kind, or sweet any individual Muslim may be, that does not erase the fact that the Quran says, kill them wherever you find them three times, chapter 2, verse 191, chapter 4, verse 89, and chapter 9, verse 5. It instructs Muslims to wage war against the people of the book, which is the Quran's term for Jews and Christians primarily, and for some other groups, until they pay the jizya, which is a tax, with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. This is a mandate for perpetual warfare against those who simply have committed the crime of believing differently. It will not change, no matter how many friendly Muslims one meets, the Quran will still teach this, and there will be other less friendly Muslims who will act upon it. Therefore, to be an Islamophobe, that is to have a distaste for the violent, authoritarian, and oppressive aspects of Islamic law and Islamic doctrine, is simply to note reality and not in any way to call for the endangering or the harming of any innocent Muslims or anyone else for that matter. These distinctions are often glossed over precisely so that those who are calling attention to the violent and authoritarian and oppressive aspects of Islamic law can be defamed and dismissed as Islamophobes who are anti-Muslim and simply hate Muslims. But there is actually no substance to this claim. So the next time somebody tells you that an Islamophobe is simply someone who has not befriended a Muslim and yet knows all about Islam, what are you going to say? What do you mean? <laughs>